Hello you beautiful 99ers, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I am Sway to the 99, so if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I do post videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Wednesdays are typically cooking videos where I make meals using ingredients from the 99 cent only store, and Saturdays are my store walkthroughs, product reviews, and I show you guys my haul. So I know this week's a little delayed, <laughs> so if you were anticipating my Wednesday video to come out on Wednesday, I do apologize. Uh, things were a little crazy this week and unfortunately the AC decided to stop working in my apartment and so if you guys live in the uh, San Francisco Bay Area or anywhere in California you know that we were getting some crazy heat it reached 102 degrees here and yes Sway was a sweaty mess so trust me you did not want to see me on camera with the stove on <laughs> but I do appreciate everyone who's been messaging me I promise you guys I will be uh, posting regularly like I always do so I apologize to you guys so thank you so much for watching um, so if you're new to my channel again thank you so much for um, coming to check me out please don't forget to hit the subscribe button um, like I said I do post videos every Wednesday and Saturday so um, before we do get started I wanted to give a quick big shout out to a fellow um, sorry fellow creator of mine a fellow friend creator of mine um, mommy and Kimberly's adventures she gave me a huge shout out in her on one of her latest videos and I am just so thankful because I did not expect that um, so that was very sweet of you so if you have not checked out her channel please do check her down I will um, put her um, YouTube channel down in the description box and I will also pin her um, link in the comment section as well so please to go check her out she does 99 sister hauls Dollar Tree hauls family vlogs and she's got two beautiful dogs um, I think they're Labradors um, but they're so adorable I'm like I want to snatch them up <laughs> I'm gonna doggy nap them not just kidding <laughs> um, but they're so cute and she's so sweet she always you always watch my videos, so I really do appreciate that um, you know it, I really do appreciate everybody who's been commenting and watching my videos from the beginning it really means the world to me uh, especially as a small youtuber every every view counts and every thumbs up helps so please do give this video a thumbs up and if you do like cooking videos please also dish, do share this with your friends so enough chit chatting let's get to the cooking so I'm excited to try this um, dish and see I'm already sweating and I have the AC on <laughs> so uh, today's meal it actually was inspired by a chain um, I don't know if I'll say the name here but I if you guys ask me in the comments I will answer um, I did see this idea um, in a chain store the other day and I was like oh that's that's pretty cool I never thought of that so I decided to try and make it on um, make it at home and make a vegetarian version so we're gonna be making a summer Mexican mac and cheese so I'm excited to try this because I've have tried it before at the um, this chain and I thought, you know what, this is pretty easy to make, so I wanted to make my own version of it. Um, and of course, make it a little different um, uh, for the chat for you guys. So again, all of the meals that I make, you can always make them, you know, um, with meat or without meat or vegan. So again, what I'm bringing to you guys are just ideas of how you can utilize the items from the 99 to make delicious meals. You don't have to follow exactly what I do. This is just how I make it. You can certainly add meat if you're not a meat eater, so don't be shy. Um, and as always, if you have ideas, please do comment down below. All right, guys, so whoo, it's hot in here. I might have to get some tea. <laughs> All right, yeah, I think I'm gonna get some tea while I, um, while I cook. I love, this is my favorite from the 99. Um, I'm very fortunate that we get these for 99 cents. I can literally go through this in like maybe two, three days. This stuff is amazing. I love the unsweetened one. Anything else, I don't really like. The only sweet version that I personally like is the um, the peach flavor. Otherwise, I always like my unsweetened iced tea. <sighs> it is hot, you guys. So I hope you're having a wonderful day so far because I am steaming in this apartment and I have the AC on. It's still kind of warm out. So as you will see here, this is not a very complex meal um, and it's perfect for summer. So I am using the Cracker Barrel oven baked um, mac and cheese. I'm not gonna bake it in the oven. Um, I've, done, I've tried this one before in the, um, in the stove and it works just fine. So I'm gonna be using some soy chorizo, um, avocado, fresh avocado, and the Living Herb Cilantro. This one is 99 cents. And like, I've, like I think I showed you guys in my haul, 
it's living herbs so these do last longer so i'm happy because i haven't really been eating eating as much cilantro as i used to so i don't want it to go bad so yeah again this is a pretty simple one. Ooh, it smells nice and fresh i love cilantro and i i'm so excited that the 99 decided to bring it as a living herb like i said i do love cilantro but there are times where i just can't finish it all and I hate, hate to throw out food. So what I typically do is I freeze it or I um, just throw it into a smoothie. Um, and usually when I, once I freeze it, I just, you know, um, keep it in uh, or uh, throw it into a smoothie. So I'm just gonna rinse this out really quickly and chop it up. So the water and the mac and cheese are actually boiling, or rather the noodles are, noodles are boiling at the moment. Oh, just love the smell of cilantro. I'm not gonna add too, too much uh, to this one. I don't wanna overpower the, um, the other items, but I think this is, I think that's good enough. And then I'm always excited to see um, how the avocado is gonna come out. You never really can tell, um, but you know, Ooh. oh wow guys, look. Perfect avocado. Hey, 99 coming through with those good avocados. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna save half of it and then I'm just going to um, only use up the other half. Again, I don't wanna to go too crazy because it is kind of a, you know, it's a lot of food. So I am going to um, just use half of the avocado for today's cooking video. And then I will probably use the other half for a smoothie or um, maybe for like a, Saturday, a nice Saturday breakfast. So, just gonna slice these up. I've always wanted to get really fancy with my um, slicing, but I can never get it just right. So, I'm not. I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna start trying today. <laughs> um, oh my God! This smells so good. Okay guys, so I'm just going to let the water boil um, and I think the mac and cheese is almost ready. So as you can see, this one is gonna be a very simple one. I am gonna be throwing the uh, soy chorizo into the frying pan right now. So it can kind of be ready as soon as the uh, mac and cheese is done. So I'm about to drain the noodles and yes, I am using my oven that I got this weekend at the 99. Uh, for anyone wondering, I'm not wearing my apron today because I did throw it in the wash. Um, it got messy last week, so I just need to um, wash it. So actually, it's in washing right now. So anyway, I'm using my glove, and I love it. It was 99 cents, y'all. So the um, macaroni noodles, um, I am just basically letting the uh, butter melt in here right now. And the soy chorizo is already warming up. And guys, it's starting to smell good. So I can show you guys, this one's a pretty simple recipe to make. This is a very quick one, so I would definitely say try this at home. And if you guys are meat eaters, you can certainly throw in regular chorizo in here. And this soy chorizo is from the 99. So if you guys are trying to eat like less meat this summer, they do have the soy chorizo. And I swear to you guys, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. This, this stuff tastes amazing. So can't wait to, to show you guys the finished product. And I don't know why I can't speak today. I guess I'm just so excited that I'm getting finally getting the cooking video out for you guys. So. Let's keep rolling. Wow, I just threw in the cheese and it literally just melted. <laughs> I guess the uh, heat in the apartment is uh, working all, all around. Um, no, I'm just keep joking, guys. But no, it really was like 102 degrees um, for the last couple of days. And I was like, no, -uh. Sway don't play that kind of heat. <laughs> um, all right, guys, so I think this is almost ready. I'm just gonna let the um, mac and cheese cool and then I'm gonna top it off and I will show you guys the final product. So now we start with the fun part, plating the dish. <laughs> I make it sound so clinical, like, oh, it's so hard. <laughs> um, there we go. So I think that is plenty. And sorry, guys, I'm not sure if you guys can see perfectly. There is a little bit of glare for me right now, but I'm sure it's okay. And I'm still using my little glove. I love it, it's so cute. So next, we're going to be adding a little bit of the soy chorizo on top. 
want to make sure it gets it stays in the center so it gets nice and perfect for a nice little uh, photo <laughs> for those good Instagram shots then we are going to add our little slices of avocado okay this is always the hardest part I'm like I always want to be super fancy y'all and I can never get it just right um, and if I am saying you all a lot is because I was given permission by Mama for Nicole. She said I'm an honorary Texan now, so I can say y'all as much as I'd like. So, y'all. <laughs> um, yeah, and I think since I am now officially uncle of her many, many, many kids. <laughs> I always like to tease Nicole that she's got a million kids. But, no, her kid, she's got such four beautiful boys. So, she's very lucky and I'm very lucky that I am now their uncle or honorary uncle so um all right guys so let me show you the finished product it looks and smells amazing so judge for yourself and here is the final product it smells amazing and i'm sure it tastes just as good and as you can see this one's a pretty simple one to make so i really hope you guys try this one at home and like i said you can always substitute the soy chorizo for regular chorizo um so let's give this one a quick bite and see what we, what we think, or what I think rather, because you guys can't have any, it's all mine. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm so excited to try this guys. I've let it cool for a couple of minutes so it's not too hot. And let's give it a quick taste test and see what we think, or rather what I think. Um, and again, if you guys try this at home, do let me know what you think. Because I'm always curious as to, you know, if people try my recipes and what they think. Mmm. Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> Sorry, I'm always conscious about eating and talking on camera. It's really good. Mm. Yes, it's hot in here, guys. Don't judge me. <laughs> um, I really like it. I think it's a very delicious meal. As you can see, it was very easy to make, and I really never expected um, for this to be a combination, but it works really well. I would say next time I wanna try it with white cheddar. Um, so if I do see the white cheddar mac and cheese at the 99, I will for surely pick it up and try it with the white cheddar just to see if it makes any difference. Um, but this one tastes just as good. And I swear to you guys, I swear by the soy chorizo. It was so good. So, okay, I'm gonna stop eating in front of you guys, making you jealous. <laughs> All right guys, so that wraps up today's cooking videos. Thank you so much for watching. If you were um, waiting for me on Wednesday, I really do appreciate your patience with me. Um, and I will be back on my regularly scheduled posting days, so um, Wednesdays and Saturdays. So I will be back for my Saturday store walkthrough. And I will be back again on Wednesday for my next cooking video. So again, I really appreciate all the support. So thank you so much to everybody who's been subscribing. I know there's so many new of you guys um, who have been who have been subscribing. So please do leave me a comment because I want to get to know you guys and see who you are, what you're about, and um, what you're interested in. So um, and don't forget, if you're not yet a part of the 99 Shopaholics on Facebook, I will link them down below. They are an amazing Facebook group. Um, we have almost 30,000 uh, members so far and which is mind-blowing so help us get to 30,000 and trust me guys You will not want to miss this page because we have people from every state We have Texas California Nevada and Arizona and people haul some amazing things I'm always in there looking as to like, you know what people are finding and what I should be in the lookout for so and I am a moderator So if you um, do request, I'll probably be one of the people who um, who accept you into the page so Again, I will link them down below. So thank you again for watching. I will see you on Saturday for my store walkthrough. And as always, don't forget to do the 99.